Why is Chinese food shocking the world? Just watch how they turn soy milk into edible paper, and you'll be amazed. They might just be the greatest food magicians on earth. But to eat it, you've got to start from scratch, with soybeans. First, soak the beans in water for 8 to 12 hours, until they're soft and plump. Then toss them into a grinder. Blend them with water to make soy milk. Next, strain the milk through a cloth or fine mesh.to separate the pulp from the liquid, what you get is pure, smooth soy milk. But then the real magic begins. Heat the soy milk until it boils, and make sure to stir constantly. You've got to control the heat, so the milk fully cooks without burning. Once it's ready, pour it into wide, shallow pans. Let it sit undisturbed for a bit. Soon, a thin film forms on the surface. That's the very first layer of yuba. Use chopsticks or bamboo sticks to gently lift it, then hang it in a breezy area to dry. This helps the moisture evaporate slowly, and you repeat this process. Until every drop of soy milk is turned into film. Finally, lay those films out in the sun. Let them dry completely. What you're left with is dried yuba. Naturally dried yuba is golden in color. It's tough and chewy when dry, but it can last a long time. Before cooking, you soak it in water. It softens into this springy, flexible texture, kind of like tofu skin, but denser and more elastic. It's not mushy, and it's not crispy. It's got this perfect chewy bounce when you bite into it. You can feel that subtle resistance, and that's the beauty of it. It also has a rich soybean aroma, similar to tofu. But the flavor is even more delicate, with just a hint of beaniness. Not overwhelming, just clean and natural.